Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Remu Bakre and this video is a special one. We're going to be finally going over the new tier 10 freemium ship in Comparable. That's correct. That is not the sound of Shikishima guns, but these are incomparables. She's a tier 10 British battle cruiser, and she's sailing into World of Warships in patch 0 0.11.0, the next upcoming patch. And she's going to have a price tag of 31k steel, and she brings a whole load of gimmicks. Now, before we move forward with the actual details on this ship, um, I just want to let you guys know that with update 11.0, she will be receiving one final change to her reload time on her main battery. It's going to be increasing the reload time from 28 seconds to 29 seconds. And now without further ado, we can go ahead and move on and talk about the ship. She carries a 3x2 gun layout with each gun being 508mm guns. A 3km Hydro, a Super Heal which heals 50% of Citadel damage, an 8% engine boost, 10km Torpedoes, and best of all, and probably the most, um, most strange thing about this ship, the concealment can reach to 10.6km surface detection. This ship has roughly a base speed of 33 knots and after equipping the speed flag and also taking the brisk skill in the captain's build, uh, this ship can actually go quite fast and mix in together with the 10.6 surface detection on the ship. Uh, brisk will be active almost the entirety of the match unless you're spotted by planes or by a destroyer. Seeing how many consumables there are on this freaking ship, only thing that's missing is DFAA. So historically, this ship was in fact a real proposal and it started in 1915 but it never really entered the design stage at all. In the project, she was to have the same 20 inch guns that we see here in this game and her armor is relatively weak um, according to the blueprints while retaining her status as a fast battle cruiser and pretty much the exact same how we see her in the game. As for the armor, you have the 51mm deck, but also you have a 25mm bow and stern. Your citadel is sort of protected, but you have to be careful when going into mid to close range combat in this thing because other ships, other battleships will overmatch you. The shells themselves don't have any special characteristics like the usual Royal Navy battleship um, line does, but the accuracy on this gun is very good. The dispersion is actually Battlecruiser Dispersion, same type that you would find on the Thunderer. The main difference though and the main downside of this ship is you have a base range of 17.6 kilometers. So personally, I like to take range mod to compensate for this. She also carries torpedoes and they are in a 2x4 setup and they have an alpha of I believe it was 16.7k and she has the option to single fire them just like the other Royal Navy ships do. As for the fun factor, this ship is ridiculously fun. Probably the most fun that I've had in a battleship in a while. Pretty funny I was spotting most cruisers in the tier like a Des Moines for example. Combination of high ship speed and engine boost to flank around for better angles on targets along with its really good concealment makes the ship really scary to deal with. Personally, I picked the ship over Shikishima in the armory, uh, mostly because of the fun factor. All the gimmicks together make this ship just so special. I feel like Incomparable is a solid choice, especially in Ranked and any other competitive modes like Clan Battles. Granted, there aren't carriers to perma-spot you with, with their uh, fighter planes. Alright, so pretty much that's going to be it for my short review of Incomparable. Great ship. I love it. I highly recommend it if you have the steel and you're a battleship player. Even though she's a gimmick ship, it's a ship that I will personally be picking up in the, um, in the armory once the patch hits live. And as always, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.